What's good YouTube, Kaleidite74 here today bringing you another Omega Ruby walkthrough video. In today's video we are going to take on Brawly, the second gym leader in Omega Ruby. Uh, this gym leader is the fighting type gym leader and I believe his best Pokemon is Makuhita, which is the first time we're going to be seeing it into this game. And there's Brawly, we're getting right into this. Um, yeah, alright, so he's going to send out a uh, Machop first, which is good because my Ralts you, it does really good against this team. I'm actually gonna send out Tentacool first to do some switch training. I know I have the EXP shirt on, but it, it, I'd rather have Tentacool do something rather than nothing, just sit in the back. Even though I'm not really gonna use Tentacool for a couple episodes, I'm, I am at least wanna get it in, at least show it in battle. I'm gonna try to use Ralts and Combuskin a little more evenly. Seismic Toss. Alright, under half. <laughs> That's kinda of scary actually, because I know Confusion won't one shot it. Uh, but it'll two shot it without a doubt. Hopefully we can get confusion here. Maybe I won't have to take a seismic toss. All right, now I have to take another one, but that's okay. We'll definitely live it. And I know I'm faster than this Machop, so I can. I don't have to heal up on this at least. And yeah, I, like I was saying, tentacle. I'm gonna end up using later in episodes. Not this episode, probably not, and probably not the next episode either. Only because it's still under level, and poison sting and constrict aren't really good moves to have. So, that's why, uh, let me just move my mic up a little bit, bringing better audio a little bit. It's getting, it's quieter in today's, for some reason. I'm gonna make it, like, normal volume, but it won't be screechy like some of the recent episodes have been. My bad. But, alright, they have Yamakuhita, they have Bulk Up, that's kinda scary. I have a Peck on Combuskin, and I'm gonna go use it, see how much it does to it. I know it's somewhat bulkier of a Pokemon, uh, and it's... Alright, it doesn't do half, which kind of sucks. Oh, sand attack, I bet this is going to be a little annoying. But that's alright, we, we'll get through it. Uh, I'm going to use Ember, because it's a special attack, and maybe it do it with Zab. Yeah, it does more, actually. I didn't get the burn, which kind of sucks, and they're probably going to heal up now, which sucks. They're using sand attack again, uh, that's, that's going to get annoying. Alright, so yeah, they do heal up, and all the HP is back, great. Alright, luckily Ember hits, and just under half, which really sucks. Uh, excuse me. All right, now now I'm starting to miss that. This is that this could be annoying. This could be annoying. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a hit in eventually. Ah, excuse me. All right. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna heal up Ralts. So later, like if I need to switch into Ralts, it, it'll be able to take some type of hit. Even though I don't think Monkey Hit is gonna go with for anything besides Sand Attack. Yeah, okay, I'm, I keep missing it. I'm gonna end up switching out to Ralts. I really didn't want to use Ralts more than I have than I have been using Ralts, but it, it's gonna come down to that. Oh well, I mean, Ralts is good against uh, Monkey Hitta. It's, it's Psychic and Fair could get Sand Attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see if a um, an attack will kill it. I'm gonna see. Yeah, Confusion. Hopefully this takes it out. And, alright, yeah, it takes it out, alright, so, we, we beat the gym leader basically with Ralt. Uh, we just got rid of that super potion with Combuskin, but level up, sweet, and we beat the gym already. That was way more smooth than it was with, uh, Roxanne. And, okay, he just gives us a gym badge, so now we have two badges, which is pretty nice. And I believe the TM, was, well, it's gonna be bulk up since Maki hit, I used bulk up. I can't think of any other TM it would be besides bulk up. And just the basic gym leader stuff. And I believe, in, where do we go now? I, I actually don't know where to go. Granite Cave, alright. So now we give the letter to Steven. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was before or after the gym. It must be now. Um, I'm gonna heal up real fast, even though my hit points are pretty fine. I'm still gonna heal up, because that, that's just how I am. And then we're gonna head up to Granite Cave. And give Steven the letter. So that, that's a pretty good start to an episode. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, hopefully we don't run into too many Pokemon. Because I don't have any repels. And maybe I'll stock up on some of them more. Throughout the series. I don't know. I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of using repels. Unless it's like a really big place. Like Victory Road. Or the huge mountain. Or some, some stuff like that. But we're going to head to Granite Cave. We were already there last episode. We stopped in. Realize that I wasn't supposed to go there till after, and yeah. Oh, that's my finger. Sorry about that. My bad. Um, yes, like I have to use a camera because no capture card. And we're gonna head down here real quickly 
And we're gonna give Steven the letter. Okay, wild Pokemon. That's to be expected, which is totally fine. It's an Abra. I'm just gonna attack it instead of fleeing because I know it's gonna be faster and it's gonna use teleport. I'm gonna do that with every Abra until we get out of this cave if we run into more. Because it's there's no point of trying to flee if it's faster than it runs away by itself. I think that that's pretty pointless. All right, so we're gonna head in here, and we're gonna find Steven right there. Sorry, I have a uh, brother in the background. Sometimes he's a little loud, but that's to be expected. Uh, there's some writing on the wall. That's interesting. Wonder what that is. Uh, looks like some creature. That's. I mean, I, I've gone through this only one time, but I, I've. I just don't know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, my, I, I can see my face in there a couple times. Hmm. Primal form. Kyogre and Groudon's primals. He's looking at that stuff, I see. Yeah, I am... I am Migs. Gladeite74, Steven. That's who I am. Yes, we know you're Steven. You're the champion. Alright, yeah. And this is where we give the letter to Steven. And then we head to some other town after this. I forget which one we actually have to go to. I'm pretty sure the the, the that dude will tell us which one it is. But yeah, all right. Oh, we get stealing. That's is that gonna be that that might be useful with the team I want. I actually I don't think it. Yeah, actually now okay. I'm thinking about now stealing actually will be pretty useful for one of the members I want to have on my team. Uh, I won't say until I get down to that road, which will be somewhat soon if I get through these episodes somewhat longer or quicker. Um, Alright, so basically we just, just gave them the letter in here and that, that's kind of it. Maybe they wanted to tell, the makers of the game wanted to tell us basically some stuff about primals. Because like, there's no real like, point just to go in there, give a letter, and have to walk all the way back out. Uh, another wild encounter on Makuhita. Don't want to catch this. Uh, that's the first time I saw one in the wild, actually. At least in this game. It's pretty interesting, level 12. What's, uh... That's, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the Maki Hitta line, to be honest. I'm not, I don't like Hariyama that much. And, oh, another one. Uh, <laughs> another one. Uh, but, yeah, I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of these fighting types. There's not many fighting types, actually, now I think about it, in Hoenn that I really like. Uh, what other ones are there? There's Blaziken, obviously. Blaziken's pretty cool. Uh, there's another Pokemon. This is getting a little annoying. It's an Abra. Right at the door, too. Even better. Uh, just gonna attack, because it's gonna teleport. Uh, what, what other fighting types are in the Hoenn? I'm just drawing a complete blank. Alright, Breloom. Breloom's... Uh, it's, it's annoying. Um... Other fighting types, other fighting types. I, I know I'm gonna miss some. At the same time, I'm not really fully thinking of it at the moment either. Uh, I, I'm just gonna be in mid thought of something else in a couple minutes, and then I'll think of a fighting type. And Metacham, Metacham's one. Metacham's all right, but Glade's better. Uh, we have to go to um, Devon. Something about the Devon parts. Sleepport. Okay, we have to go to Sleepport City. Uh, I believe we stop at the beach Route 109. Yeah, we stop at Route 109. And I think in today's episode, we're going to, like, take on some trainers in there. Because I want to trade up my three Pokemon. I want Tentacool to be at a higher level than it is now. Uh, and get more training with Ralts and Combuskin. Alright, so we're going to head there um, with the, this guy again. And his Wingle. And if I really wanted to, I didn't really have to. I don't really have to battle anybody on this route, to be honest. But I'm going to battle this guy right here. Uh, I have... Who am I leading off with? I actually forget who I'm leading off with. Did I lead off with Ralts? I for, yeah, yeah, I have Ralts in the beginning. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take out the Machop with the Ralts, because Machop can't do anything. Uh, level 15. Hoo-hoo, that's kind of strong, actually. Because level 13 Ralts is basically who I've been using this entire freaking thing so far. Yeah, I've been... <laughs> Tentacle hasn't been used, and Combuskin's always been... A bit higher, like the first two episodes, I think I used Combat Torchic a lot, and then since I got Ralts and got it to a closer level, I haven't really been using it as much. But yeah, it's just much I've been doing anything. I'm gonna take it out and beat this trainer. Uh, uh, there might be a double battle actually on this route. I, I forget to be honest. If I run into them, I run into them. But I'm not gonna go running around this route the for like the next five, six minutes. Lucky Chant? I do not want Lucky Chant. Uh, I do not think. For gameplay that is useful whatsoever. 
All right. Uh, I know there's another trainer. Um. Yeah. Just peace and quiet for a minute. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Let's see. Should I start doing questions of the days? I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not sure where I would put it in the layout, but if you guys want me to do a question of the day, I can definitely think of one real quick. I have uh, polls on my Twitter, and I sometimes I usually ask a question at least once a week. At least, no, two or three times a week, I ask some random question. Most of the time, it's random. I put my uh, mono types. I, I ask if someone wants to do electric or bug, because I wanted to do, do one of those two types. Yeah, next. Uh, it, it was 50-50, so electric, uh, I'm going to do electric first, but I put some polls like that, and then other ones are just for random things like, are you team sun, are you team moon, or is it like baby doll eyes, that's annoying, uh, I've got double kicks, so that's not big of a deal, but are you like team rallet, litten, poplio, all this stuff about anything, mainly sun and moon since it's more streamed, it's more like talked about recently, uh, I'm going to put something up about uh, Pokemon Go soon. I'm not sure yet, because I'm really looking forward to Pokemon Go, even though that once I saw the battling, I wasn't the most impressed, but I do really like the catching mechanic they've put in this game. Like, I, I know it's more concentrated on, on catching Pokemon, which is great, and they did it, what I've seen of it looks great. They've done a great job with the background, they did deliver really good. Uh, the gyms, on, like I said, the battling, I'm not the biggest fan of, but that's okay, because that's not what their main goal was just to catch them all, and that's what I find is pretty fun about Pokemon Go. Uh, it's, it, it's put on some serious delay from coming out, but I don't mind waiting, just so they can make it better. That's what they're doing. It's not like they're holding it off just to annoy us. They're trying to enhance the game a little bit. That's, yeah. I just remember when I came out, and my friends just kind of went insane when they heard that. <laughs> and I, I did too. I actually didn't know about it until they said something about it. But, yeah. I, I'm definitely getting it. I did not get the beta testing. I was not chosen, but that's okay. I, I can wait till the actual game comes out, which is supposed to come out in late July, which is, as the recording of this video, it is mid-June, sort of to getting closer to the late of June. So basically a little bit over a month I have to wait, but that is quite fine. I have a complete, even if the battling is not meant for it, I do have a complete team of Pokemon, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I believe it's all, it's only the first 151 Pokemon. I could be wrong, but that's what I think it is. I know the beta was that, but yeah. 151, the first original. I, excuse me. I really hope they add more to it, because I want to see the more Pokemon from different generations. Not saying Gen 1 is bad or anything, because I do like the Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, I really like the Gengar, Pidgeot, and the Gyarados too. Like, I like all those Pokemon. Just, I don't know. I, I want to see more Pokemon. But anyway, we reached Slateport City. Uh, I actually don't know where to go. I, I actually want to get to Pokemon Center. Uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> I almost got lost looking for the Pokemon Center. That, that's kind of weird. I'm going to heal up. And I'm going to look around the town and look for where I have to go. Because I know there is a place in here I have to go. I just forget which place it is. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go out and, well, I'm gonna go to Pokemon first and buy some potions just to heal up them more, because I'm getting a little bit low. I had, like, three super potions left, and I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs, and I'm gonna buy some super potions, I think there's seven of them. <laughs> well, there goes all my money. Yeah, I, I'm, my money's not that high right now, but that's okay. Uh, I know after the story I'll get lots of money real quick. The interviewers I use for Alpha Sapphire, they give you not too, too much money, but if you keep battling them, it stacks up real quick. Is this where we have to go? Alright, now we have to go somewhere else before here, because I know that's where we have to go after, I guess. Um, this place looks pretty significant. I think I'm gonna, I think it's in here. And, alright, yeah, it is in here. Um, what's this guy saying? I'm just gonna read this real quickly. Alright, um, Devon Parts, alright, he's at the museum, so, yeah, I'm gonna explore real quickly around this place, cause, yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just, I, li I like to do that, uh, this is the place where they make the boats, right, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is, 
I, I really like how they added like that right there. It, it looks really cool just to see the little things I put in the game. Because, yeah, okay, I haven't been to see Marvel yet. I like seeing Marvel. It's pretty cool there, even though I, I, it's not much to it. It's just a sn sunken ship in the end, but... It, uh, uh, this, the Sea Marvel looks pretty cool. Uh, how'd I get on that? Oh, yeah, that's right. He, uh, he said something about uh, being on Sea Marvel. But I'm going to wrap up this episode before uh, we get going to the museum. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching this episode. And I am going to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.